What's up, people lovers? This is the story of my stolen passport. So, my girlfriend and I wanted to travel to the US, San Francisco, then rent a car and go down south towards LA. It's a bit more complicated than that, though. Um, I've been there to the US like four times already, all between like 2013, 2019, uh, obviously Las Vegas only, poker shenanigans, and typically if you want to get a visa there, you um, just apply to an ESTA, right? It's really easy in online form, but some way this form was a bit different this time. Uh, and it asked me, have you been to Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, uh, I don't know, um, or North Korea since 2011. And I, being, or uh, since I was in North Korea in 2012, clicked yes. And the ESTA form even said, are you sure that you want to click yes here? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to lie, right? And therefore I clicked yes and instantly got rejected my ESTA visa. So thanks for nothing. Uh, and then I tried to Google and apparently 2019 rules changed. So I didn't get a visa into the US. Uh, simply because I was in North Korea, but there's still a different way to apply uh, and I tried to fill out the full form and That was while well, I already was in Berlin in the GL bootcamp, right? practicing for Red Bull Vololo, so lots of tilt there. I um, Couldn't really fill out all the, the forms and then applying to the other um, Visa B2 something really unimportant for you now and for the sake of the story and This form kept crashing over and over again every time I tried to click something new uh, Like it reset and I had to do it over and over again even like I was trying to do it in the boot camp Right, and I was so tilted. I even had to leave and then it was ugly with the laptop I went back tried to fill it out there and it was really tilted and in the end, I finished it. I had like contradicting information there in the sense like, what is my job? What was my further uh, my job earlier? Rogan? And yeah, yeah. Um, it, it wasn't pretty. But in the end, everything was fine. And it said, okay, now it seems like you don't need a date. Um, you don't need an appointment and a talk with the with the embassy. You can just send in the passport. And I was like, easy peasy, send in the passport. And they said within two weeks, um, I should get my visa, right? It's still like, was well, six weeks to go, so no problem there. And so I asked my girlfriend, can you send in the uh, passport? And she sends it via post, even ensures the, the envelope and or the letter itself. And a day later, I get a message from the German postal service. The sorting machine lost the object in your envelope. And I basically got an open envelope without my passport. And this is, I'm already in Heidelberg. I go, tried to go to like a uh, public place, Heide Heidelberg, and trying to get a new passport, but they said, uh, till we get the passport and uh, all the, the, the paperwork that we need to do, you're already back in Hamburg in a week. So f me, I, I basically can't do anything for a week. I even considered on the off day Monday to travel to Hamburg, try to get an express passport and travel back to Heidelberg, which is like six hours train twice. Uh, I even looked it up and everything. It was super tilting. Um, but then decided I needed some rest. Um, and because I didn't want my casting to suffer too much. So this is like the sorting machine lost it. So I went to the police and reported, okay, my passport got stolen. And they said like, yeah, we, we can't um, list it as stolen. It's more like someone found it and didn't declare it. And I'm like, okay, 
if you're fine with that like but they still said like okay let's wait the 25 days that the postal service said so i come back to hamburg uh, get a day two days later express passport cost me like 90 90 euros and then i'm trying to set up a new date with a new passport for with the embassy but I couldn't because I didn't have my new passport number. So waiting for the express passport. It arrived like three days later. Somewhat okay. And the date I want to make a new passport. A new visa for the new passport. I get an envelope from my postal service. Here. We found your passport. Uh, yeah, so I now I have one worthless passport and uh, a second one. Uh, and now they said, wow, your visa Esther got denied. Now you try to send in your passport without meeting us. Um, we won't allow you to to get a visa for free. You You need to be in Berlin and get interviewed. And I was like, okay, okay, I will get interviewed. What's the next date you can offer? 28th of January. And this was early November, right? So um, thank you for nothing. And then I somehow with some calls got an express date for the next day, 8.30 in Berlin. So I woke up four in the morning and got like an emergency visa appointment and get there with my with all the stuff that I printed out my laptop and I tried to show them okay where I'm going and such and they're saying yeah this is a US embassy you're not allowed to get in there with your laptop and your phone and I was like I I'm at the front of the embassy like with the full backpack woke up 4 a.m. I'm like completely tired and they said hey, yeah you can't enter with this and I where am I supposed to put my backpack now and they're like Go to the train station, uh, a small like liquor shop will take it for you. So basically, there's. A, I went to the liquor shop at the train station 8 in the morning. My appointment was at 8.30 and he was already prepared and said like, yeah, um, 5 euros and I will watch your backpack. <laughs> I was like, okay, seems like that's my only option. Um, yeah, then I go to uh, the interview, right? And obviously US uh, interview guys are always like really strict. Uh, I had some of those before, even with Esther and trying to travel there. And they're like, okay, hmm, like, why have you been to North Korea? Who did you travel with? Who did you interact with? And apparently I gave all the right answers. Like only five days, tourism, with a friend, organized group, I never left the hotel, yada yada. And have been to the US four times, only traveling with my girlfriend, US citizen, no family, and yeah, uh, no family in North Korea, no family in the US. And they were like, okay, what's your occupation? And I'm like, eh, okay, um, the, yeah, I'm like, organizing casting and playing computer game so like esport involvement and this guy's like okay what esport are you doing and I'm like it's called age of empires and then the guy was like oh i used to play age of empires too that's the one where you use the cd right and i was like yeah yeah we don't use the cd anymore but uh yeah yeah, yeah that's that's the one that's the one um and he even takes a small um, uh, post it and writes down Age of Empires 2 and puts it in his own pocket and says your visa just got approved so um, yeah me uh, I'm happy going back to to Hamburg and so that's another train uh, train ride <laughs> and then they a day later said okay Visa got approved, take it another day. So I took one day in Hamburg. Next day, waking up again, 5 a.m., taking the train to be there, train an hour delayed. So, and then the pickup location where you get your visa actually had an hour of lunch break in Germany. 
So uh, I showed up after the lunch break, just walking there. I was like five minutes late, so 55 minutes of like randomly walking the city of Berlin. Um, yeah, and then I got my visa. So I'm traveling to the US. That's why you won't see uh, me streaming for two weeks and YouTube content won't be lost. But God, I, I think I lost half a year of my life with all the nerves that I lost there. Poof. And I, I was so convinced that our sorting machine lost your passport. And I get like, uh, it, it, unheard, like it was, uh, do I still have it here? Yeah, it's like a completely fine, like this is the op opening of the envelope. It's completely, like it was not destroyed at all. The, the letter is 100% fine. Um, yeah. Ha! Huh, but all soft now. Um, so, that was the story of my passport. Goodbye, hippo lovers, over on YouTube.